Hello and welcome to the chesscreator.com YouTube video channel. In today's video I'm going to introduce an opening system called the Stonewall Attack. Now the Stonewall Attack is a deep pawn opening from white and the if you look at your screens you'll see the basic Stonewall formation. White has pawns on c3 d4, e3 and f4, a light square bishop on d3 and has moved his knight to d2. The basic theme is to move the knight on g1 to f3, castle and then move that knight to e5 and build up a, an attack on Black's castled position, kingside. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos on the Stonewall defence, some of you may notice that in effect this is the Dutch Stonewall defence played with coloured reverse and with the advantage of an extra tempo. So many of the themes in terms of the bishop sacrifice um, are present in the stonewall attack but the bishop sacrifice is on h7 instead of um, it being in its colors reverse position so without further ado let's see a very thematic game that I played recently and the game begins as follows d4 d5 e3 Knight f6, Bishop d3, e6, c3. And at this point, White has built a very um, solid pawn triangle in the center here. This pawn triangle is also a common theme throughout other D pawn opening systems, such as the Collie system and the London system. And this is worth mentioning because if you look at these opening systems in conjunction with the Stonewall attack, they actually build quite a nice basic repertoire. Many of the pieces, such as the light square bishop and the knights, end up on similar squares. And it's really just the location of this dark square bishop that differs. But anyway, back to the Stonewall attack. Knight d2 c5 and f4 and at this position we have the basic stonewall formation black continues pushing c pawn and in stonewall attack we want to keep the light squared bishop on the b1 to h7 diagonal this is uh, where it poses its greatest threat and as I said often it can be sacrificed to gain um, a very potent attack on the king side. Queen b6, black seeks to get some counterplay on the queen side and white continues with natural development, castling and black castles. And at this point, we more or less have the classic stonewall formation. The only slight difference is that the bishop, which is normally on d3, has been pushed back, in this case, to c2. But it's maintained itself along this diagonal and is pointing to the king on h7. So, this game continued with the very thematic knight e5. and black seeks counterplay on the queen side which um, is seen very often in games um, but the downside of this for black is it really underestimates the attack that is just moves away on the king side and I'll show you what I mean rook f3 rook f3 seems an awkward even innocuous move but the basic point here is that it lifts the rook from f1 
to F3 and then either onto H3 or G3 where it can combine with the Queen and the Bishop and the Knight on the E5 into quite a potent attack. So this game continued with more queenside expansion from black and I played rook h3. Now at this point I have my bishop and rook pointing at h7 so two attackers and black has two defenders the king and the knight and therefore many times black underestimates or overlooks the potential move which is great fun to play. And that move is bishop takes h7 check. And at this point it's um, almost impossible for black to escape if the knight is on e5. Even if black recaptures, white swings queen across from d1 to h5 with two pieces attacking this knight and pretty much nowhere for the king to run and indeed in this game it continues with f6 but it's all over queen takes h7 checkmate now this of course was um, chosen to illustrate some of the major themes and there are of course much stronger defensive lines that black can take but the game is interesting because just going back to the position one more time it shows what an easy system this is these opening moves in terms of c3 d4 e3 f4 and bishop d3 knight d2 can often be played in a different move order depending on what black does and so it's quite flexible. Um, there's also scope to swing the attack queenside with um, moving the queen to a4 and perhaps the bishop to b5 if black castles queenside. In this game as we saw there is also scope to um, sacrifice on h7 which is very effective in uh, bullet and blitz and um, if you're not familiar with the system it's one that I really recommend you take a little bit of a look at it's simple to learn it's flexible it's relatively adaptable and um, you can score some very good victories particularly in short time controls if you're interested in the stonewall attack, may I suggest that you look at Green Castle Block's YouTube video. Um, the gentleman's name is Matt Pullin, and he has produced an excellent short video series of four or five videos on the stonewall attack. In the meantime, I hope this has been useful, and you are very welcome to leave comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much for your time.